Hi artists, my name is Mrs. Harris and today we're going to be playing a game called Mirror Mirror. During our game, I want you to think about how artists overcome challenges when they're trying something new. What types of things will you need to overcome challenges during our game of Mirror Mirror? First, gather your supplies. You're going to need two pieces of paper or one large piece of paper. Notebook paper, newspaper, or blank sheets of paper work just fine. And then you're gonna to need to make some, or gather some tools that make marks. You can gather pens, Sharpies, you can gather markers, you can gather crayons, you could use paint brushes, or if you have other art supplies like twisties or chalk, you can use those as well. You'll need at least two mark making tools, one for each hand of our Mirror Mirror game. The first thing you're gonna do is to set up your pieces of paper side by side, and then you're gonna choose one tool for one hand and another tool for another hand. So I'll start out with these two. When we play Mirror Mirror, when one hand goes up, the other hand goes up. But when one hand goes to the right, the other hand is gonna to go to the left. So pretend that we're looking into a mirror. Let's practice with our hands first. Move your hands closer together. Move your hands up. Move your hands down, farther apart. You could try pointing your fingers coming together. That's what it's gonna be like when we start to think with our brain and move our materials. All right. Let's start one in each hand and we'll just start moving. Think about what it would look like to look in the mirror. And you don't have to go fast. Notice how when one hand goes out, the other goes in the opposite direction. Let's see if we can go a little faster. Oh, I'm making a mistake. Look what's happening. This hand went this way to the left and this hand wanted to go that way to the left as well. No big deal. We'll just try again. Let's start out like this. Okay. Both going down. Now they need to go towards each other. Up and then back away from each other. So each hand is kind of doing the opposite right now. Let's stop and try another material. I could, if I only have two things to draw with, I can actually just switch hands, which could be interesting. I do like this black twisties. So maybe I'll put that in that hand and then I'll try something else in the other hand. I like this big pencil I found. All right, let's get started again. Now the hands aren't doing the exact same thing. They're really doing the opposite. So we're gonna go down, part, I noticed that I'm drawing rectangular shapes. That's interesting. Let me show you a trick to do if your markers are running out. I have a little bowl of water handy here that I was gonna use for my paint later, but one of my favorite things to do is to dip my marker in the water. Let me show you what happens. All right, in my classroom, we call these zombie markers because they come back alive.
When you're all through with both of your pieces, you're gonna have two finished works of art. Take a look at them and see how they're similar and how they're different. The lines that we made during Mirror Mirror should still be really similar, but the way that you added embellishments or decorations might be different. I noticed that I wanted to draw straight lines, zigzag lines, dots, and I made patterns inside the shapes. Today, your job as an artist was to decide how did you overcome those problems that maybe came up? Did you make any mistakes today while you were playing the game? Or did you do anything during the decorating phase that you ended up not liking very much? Those are the types of questions that artists ask themselves all the time. Now that you're warmed up and you've got some ideas going, maybe some shapes and patterns, you'll know exactly how you can start on your next artwork. Great job today, artists. Today we played the Mirror Mirror game. If you liked today's game, check out some of the other drawing games.